Also. Hallo. Hi everyone, it's Pastor Iris. I'm so glad you joined me today. You're probably wondering what I'm doing in this closet. You see, my son and I were playing hide and seek. We started talking about today's story and it reminded us of this game. We thought it would be a lot of fun to just play around. 
Our story today is about Mary and Joseph. You see, they went searching for Jesus. They didn't know where he was. And no, they weren't playing hide and seek. They really didn't know where to find him. I bet that must have been really scary for them. Well, they searched and they searched and then they found him in the most unusual place. I bet today's memory verse would have been a real comfort to them. Do you guys remember it? It's Deuteronomy 31.6. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified, for the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Uh oh, guys, shh, I better be quiet. I think I hear him coming now. Yeah, here I come. Well guys, he found me, and I guess it's a good thing because it would have been really weird to have kids church from inside the closet. Well, I'm glad we're back together. Let's start our morning off with a word of prayer. Dear Father God, we thank you so much for who you are and for all the love that you show us. Father, we thank you for our family and for our friends. We ask you to bless this morning and to just give us a real understanding of your word Father God, we love you and we praise you. Amen. All right, guys, I've been reading about the coolest kids um, who've actually won world records. They did something so spectacular and so amazing that they were put into the Guinness World Record book. And I wanted to share a few of those with you. And I thought we would turn it into a game. Um, I'm going to describe a world record and then I'm going to ask you a question about it. And I want you to tell me what you think the answer is. Are you ready? Okay. Um, I wrote them down so that I could share them with you. A nine-year-old boy 
set the world record for the most claps in one minute. One minute, 60 seconds. My question is gonna be, how many times do you think he clapped? Now, I actually tried this one, and um, you know, one minute is 60 seconds, and I was trying to as I could. And I recorded myself doing that, and I think the most that I got was 48. So what do you think this nine-year-old boy was able to do? Was it A, 98 claps in one minute, B, 482 claps in one minute, or was it C, 1,080 claps in one minute? Okay, guys, give me your answer below or shout it out to a friend in the room. Are you ready? All right, here is the answer. It was C, 1,080 claps in one minute. That's crazy, I, that's unbelievable. Wow, all right, are you ready for number two? Number two. A team of 12 jumpers with two rope turners set the world record for the most jumps over a rope in one minute. So as two of them held one end of the rope and turned it, their 12 friends had to jump through and jump. And they wanted to break the world record for how many jumps they could do in one minute, 60 seconds. What do you think they were able to do? Was it A, 103, B, 230, or C, 467 jumps in one minute? Are you ready? Go. All right, do you think you know the answer? Tell a friend. And the answer is B, 230 jumps in one minute. It's crazy fast. All right, number three. A fifth grade girl set the record, oh, set the world's record for the longest distance to stretch slime in 30 seconds. How many inches did it stretch? Was it A, 32, B, 49, or C, 88 inches in 30 seconds? Tell a friend. All right, the answer is C. She was able to stretch it 88 inches. That's taller than I am. All right, number four, and this is our last one. I don't know if you guys have been keeping track at home, but an 11 year old girl set the record for the most four leaf clovers collected in one hour in one field. How many four-leaf clovers did she collect? Now, you know, I actually tried this once where I went into a field to collect four-leaf clovers, and I'm gonna be honest, I couldn't even find one. So I'll be curious to see what the answer is here. Do you think it's A, she was able to find 14 in one hour, B, she was able to find 51 in one hour, or C, 166 four-leaf clovers in one hour? Go ahead. Vote and tell a friend. Are you ready for the answer? The answer is C, 166 four leaf clovers in one hour. That's crazy good. You know, those were some amazing feats. But did you know that when Jesus was 12 years old, he was in a temple talking to some of the leaders there and that they, they thought that he was amazing as well? Why don't you listen to our story today? We can find it in Matthew 2 and in Luke 2. Come and join me. After Jesus was born, wise men followed a star to Bethlehem to find the new king of the Jews. The wise men worshiped Jesus as king. When they left, an angel told Joseph in a dream to leave Bethlehem because King Herod wanted to kill <laughs> Jesus. So Mary, Joseph, and Jesus went to Egypt until Herod died. Oh. Mm -hmm. Then they went back to Israel and lived in Nazareth. Jesus grew up in Nazareth. Every year, Jesus' parents traveled to Jerusalem for the Passover feast. 
Passover was the biggest holiday for the Jewish people. Many people traveled to Jerusalem to celebrate and remember when God saved his people from slavery in Egypt. When Jesus was 12 years old, Jesus and his family went to Jerusalem together. When it was time to go home, Mary and Joseph began traveling to Nazareth with a large group of people. They didn't notice that Jesus was not with them. They thought he was among the group of travelers, but Jesus was not with the group. He had stayed behind in Jerusalem. Mary and Joseph had been walking for a whole day when they started to look for Jesus. They looked among their relatives and friends, but they could not find him. So Mary and Joseph went back to Jerusalem. They searched everywhere for Jesus. The city was so big and Jesus was just a boy. Finally, they found him at the temple. Jesus was listening to the teachers and asking them questions. Everyone who heard Jesus could hardly believe how much Jesus understood. When Jesus' parents saw him, they were surprised. <gasps> Mary said, son, why have you done this? Your father and I were worried. We've been looking everywhere for you. Why were you looking for me, Jesus asked. Didn't you know that I had to be in my father's house? But Mary and Joseph did not understand what Jesus was talking about. Mm -hmm. Then Jesus went back to Nazareth with Mary and Joseph. Jesus was always obedient to them, and Mary remembered all of these things. As Jesus grew up, he became even wiser. Mm. God was pleased with him, and so was everyone who knew him. God sent Jesus to earth with a purpose, even as a child. Jesus wanted to honor God. God blessed Jesus as he got ready to follow his father's plan, to die on the cross and rescue people from sin. You know, some of you guys may have had scary situations where you were separated from your parents. I'm sure it would have been terrifying, not just for you, but for your parents as well. I can't even imagine what Mary and Joseph must have been feeling like. I mean, God gave them the very important job of raising the Messiah, and they leave Jerusalem without him. You and I, we would have been scared if we are separated from our parents, maybe even got into trouble if they weren't around. But Jesus wasn't like us. He wasn't an ordinary kid. The Bible tells us that he was found in the temple talking to the temple leaders and that they were amazed by his understanding of scripture. You know, even Jesus as a young child, even as a young child, he wanted to follow God's plan for his life. And God's plan for his life was that he would die and rescue us from our sins. The Bible tells us that if we put our faith and our trust in Jesus and we choose to follow him, that he'll make us part of his family and forgive us our sins. And as believers, God will also make us a part of his plan and he'll help us and he'll give us the strength and the words that we need to go out and share the good news with others. That's his plan for us. And each and every one of us can be a part of it. Hey guys, let's pray. If you would bow your heads with me and close your eyes. Father, thank you for sending your son. Thank you that he wanted to obey your plan to rescue us all along. We know that he is the best friend that we could ever have. Help us to love and obey you and follow your plan for our life. Amen. Hey kids, why don't you join me as we sing to our super wonderful God. My God is strong. He'll do anything big or small. Nothing is impossible. Super wonderful God 